Yo, what is going on, YouTube Nation? We are here live with NBA 2K25 content, man. I'm not going to lie. I've been struggling so far this year, dude. I've been struggling. But nevertheless, I wanted to show y'all my build, walk y'all through my attributes and why I chose certain attributes. So we went with a small forward, 6'8", 217 on the weight, and then 6'10", wingspan. So starting off, we went with that 96 driving dunk, man. Y'all know I'm trying to catch bodies out here. That 96 driving dunk gets us hall of fame postal riser and but it goes up to legend if i decide to use my tier one uh badge plus one on it if i end up getting a level 30 on the season progress right so that's mad dope for the midi went with a 93 gives us gold dead eye gold shifty shooter and hall of fame set shot specialist what's really dope about this is those badges translate down to my three ball as well so even though i don't have a super high three ball those gold and hall of fame badges translate down to my three ball and work for that as well so we went with the 83 three ball i didn't want to go too high on that but we still get bronze limitless plus all the badges that we get from the uh 93 midi which is mad dope down on a, down on the playmaking type attributes we got 75 pass accuracy that gives us silver dimer and silver break starter not nothing crazy but enough to be able to still be effective so we're, we're not just throwing flat passes out there and lob passes out there just hanging in the air i feel it right now because i'm at like a 50 right now and i am feeling it dog like passes trash but we also want an 86 ball handle and a 75 speed with balls just be able to get shifty ourselves not too bad but able to at least handle the ball a little bit if we want to with some silver badges there and some decent animation to come along with that i'm still trying to figure out the dribbling uh, it's a little different for me but we got it we're, 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 we're gonna lock in we're gonna lock in and then we also went with an 85 perimeter defense here for that silver challenger. I definitely didn't want to be a cone on defense. Wanted to be able to contest shots because people are in people's face and still shooting open shots contest. So I wanted to make sure that's not me. We get decent, decent contest air on the wing. Uh, so a lot of people are building their my player around the starter three plus five attributes. I didn't want to do my first build like that only because I don't know how long it takes for me to make starter three. But if you got the time to grind it out and make starter three pretty quick within like a month or so, I'll show you how I would build it if I was able to put the time in to be able to get those plus five attributes. So as you can see here, the build has a 93 driving dunk instead of a 96. At starter three, you get plus five attributes to wherever you want to put it at. So that 93 driving dunk, you'll add three of the plus five attributes to that, giving you that 96, giving you the Hall of Fame um, posterizer and also the elite contact dunks off too. And then you'll add one to your 84 vert, giving you 85, giving you access to those badges and those animations as well. And then from there, you could bring your MIDI down to a 92 as well. And then that last attribute that you have, put that on the MIDI. You see, by doing that, you're at a 97 overall right now. It gives you more flexibility. Uh, maybe put that on, on steel. As you can see, it can go up decently. And it, it gives you more flexibility in that aspect, right? So I understand why people are doing it. I just don't know how quickly I'll be able to make starter two. And I didn't want to base my first build around that. So here's what we're looking like right now. That 96 driving dunk for the elite contact dunks off too. I've been catching bodies with it, yo. I've been having so much fun catching bodies. We've got the 93 midi. 83 three ball, 86 ball handle, and an 85 perimeter defense. And we also max out some of our physicals as well. I want to make sure I got my key attributes up before making everything. 87 overall right now, we can upgrade to that 90, but I'm not putting any more money into them. Let me go ahead and show you the SIGs and the custom jump shot, and I'll get y'all out of here, man. So here are the SIGs I'm rocking with right now, man. Uh, I'm still trying to fine tune it, figure out what works for me, what works for my play style, what are smooth and everything. But uh, honestly, I've been doing decent with it. I just know I can probably maximize a little bit more with other attributes. Show y'all my custom jumper too. I'm using Tobias Harris. I know, don't laugh at me, yo. I'm using Tobias Harris, but I just sped it up. And I've been shooting decently with it. I'm still trying to figure out shooting myself. But uh, we've been shooting decently with it. It hasn't been absolutely horrible, man. But shooting has been on and off for me. Still trying to figure everything out, man. But so far, I am liking this year. I'm liking the difficulty of this year. Just trying to get used to it. And uh, it, it, just, it just feels like, it feels different to me, honestly. And, and that's a good thing. I mean, that means I got to adjust my game. I got to get used to it, man. But let me know in the comment section down below. What build did you go with for your first build? And how are you liking it so far this year, man? I appreciate y'all tuning in and be rocking with me throughout the whole year, man. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace out, y'all.